What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome uh, to a huge Liverpool transfer news story. Jurgen Klopp is uh, looking to sign Adrian Rabiot, the hugely talented midfielder who is playing for Paris Saint-Germain and Julien Laurent, a very reliable and respected journalist, uh, broke the story for ESPN that actually Liverpool spoke to Rabiot himself and his agent. Julian Laurent claims that Klopp, who wanted the 23-year-old French midfielder Rabiot, even when he was the Dortmund manager, has already spoken to both the Rabiot and his mother, who is also Rabiot's agent, on the phone. And uh, Julian Laurent is uh, saying that these sources are reliable, telling him that Jurgen Klopp already spoke to Rabiot's agent and Rabiot himself. And Rabiot is definitely interested in signing for Liverpool because in an interview he recently said, I would love to play in the Premier League, not necessarily it for one club in particular, even though I was very fond of Liverpool when I was very young. So what do you think about that guys? Rabio used to be a Liverpool fan when he was growing up and I'm sure that he is actually still watching Liverpool play and uh, guess what? Rabio will play at Anfield uh, in the Champions League because Liverpool and Paris Saint-Germain will play against each other and Rabio has played every minute so far of Paris Saint-Germain's uh, league campaign so he's a really uh, uh, he's a starting 11 player at PSG and guess what Rabio still hasn't signed a contract extension he only has one year left on his contract well it's now less than one year so he can sign on a free transfer to any club next summer if he doesn't sign a new contract and also he can start negotiating with clubs as early as January and I'm sure that Jurgen Klopp would love to get him in in January for maybe a cut price deal but make no mistake there will be a lot of clubs interested in Rabiot's services because he is a really really talented player He's becoming world class, in my opinion, in the next like four or five years. So guys, if you are excited about this transfer news, leave a like on this video and of course subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you never miss a future upload. And Rabiot is a very versatile player. He can play in a number of positions. He can play defensive midfield because he's quite a tall player. Uh, he can uh, get stuck in his like 188 centimeters tall, that's six foot two inches tall. And also he can uh, be a box-to-box -box midfielder or even he can play as a creator, as an attacking midfielder because he scores quite a few goals uh, each season. On average he scores 5 goals per season, he already scored 22 goals uh, for Paris Saint-Germain in 208 games, which is not a lot, but if you consider that he made, the, he made his debut in 2013 or even 2012 even, um, he's, he was a very very young player at, back then, a teenager. And I think Rabiot would be the perfect player for our midfield because Jurgen Klopp loves these kind of players who can do a bit of everything, a little bit uh, like Nabi Keita or Jorginho Wijnaldum in that he, they can defend, they can attack, they can tackle, they can score, they can uh, give assists to other players, they can get stuck in and you know tackle the opposition but also they, ha they are very athletic and that's what Liverpool love, that's what Jurgen Klopp loves and I'm really really hoping that we can get him but the competition for his signature will be huge and I think it's already like almost certain that Rabiot will leave Paris Saint-Germain because if you want to stay at the club you don't let your contract run down to the last year of, of your of your contract uh, not a lot of players stay when they allow that to happen Mesut Ozil is an exception but, uh, you know, Alexis Sanchez uh, went to Man United running down his contract at Arsenal. So I think Rabiot will leave uh, Paris Saint-Germain. The big question is, uh, which will be his next club? I think Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool are in pole position. Not only because, you know, Rabiot was a Liverpool fan growing up, but uh, because Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool made, uh, you know, 
this club so so attractive to other players and guess what Rabiot uh, posted when uh, Steven Gerrard announced his retirement in November 2016 he posted uh, a, an Instagram picture with the caption Stevie Gerrard, Gerrard he will pass the ball 40 yards, he's strong and he's Hard Stevie Gerard Gerard, legend of a footballer, you had a great career and of course uh, he put the hashtag great player, best midfielder, hard work, two footballs and two red circles. So I think that he has a soft spot for Gerard. I think when he was growing up Gerard was in his prime. We remember that Rabiot is only 23 years old. So when he was growing up Gerard was one of the best midfielders in the world. So maybe he was watching Liverpool games and you know looking at uh, what he can um, you know gather in terms of what he can learn from Steven Gerrard. Of course there is no guarantee that we will be able to sign him but I think we have a good chance. Barcelona are also interested in him and maybe other clubs but uh, you know him being a, a, a Liverpool fan I think uh, makes a difference. Not necessarily it makes a big difference but uh, the fact that Julian Leroy is reporting that Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp especially got in touch with the player and his agent on the phone. I'm not sure how legal that is. You know that Liverpool already got burnt by the Van Dijk saga. So I really hope that uh, Liverpool don't get banned uh, doing this. But I, I don't think there is any rule preventing uh, Jurgen Klopp to actually pick up the phone and, and uh, you know call his mother and maybe speak to Rabiot himself and uh, not necessarily about you know joining Liverpool but about um, other things and uh, and maybe he can just uh, talk about the project that is going on at Liverpool because I think Liverpool is a club on the rise and I expect Liverpool to have a big big season both in the Premier League and in the Champions League and of course you know seeing Rabiot cope against this Liverpool side will be fascinating especially now that we are really interested in signing Rabiot and maybe the games between Paris Saint-Germain and Liverpool will decide ultimately whether we sign Rabiot or not. I'm not sure if that's the case but I think that could be an indicator of what we can expect and of course Rabiot could first-hand experience the Anfield atmosphere. Anfield on a European night is something else. It's one of the most special stadiums, one of the most special places to watch a football match. On a European night Anfield is just electric and I really really hope that Rabiot falls in love with the club just like I did many many years ago when I started watching Liverpool FC and I'm really hoping that uh, that Rabiot becomes a Liverpool player because I think he's exactly what we need and he's only 23 so his best years are ahead of him. Uh, on, in other news Jurgen Klopp was talking about Liverpool's early season form and in the past two games Liverpool didn't look at their scintillating best. The most important thing that we grinded out a one a win against Brighton and we won at Crystal Palace 2-1 albeit not really playing well but Jurgen Klopp has an explanation and he said this the players are not at their top level yet that is because we are in the early parts of the season it is normal everybody should know we have a lot of work to do still but if they don't then now I have told them <laughs> I love Jurgen Klopp's sense of humor that's brilliant when you win four times, it sounds really crazy to say this, but it is still part of the preseason for a very long time after the summer. From mid-September, we play every three days, so we do the work now, and this is how it is. It is normal that you are not quite at 100% in the games. And Jurgen Klopp is right. Liverpool had to do probably a longer preseason because half of our players came back late. Uh, from their World Cup, uh, you know, heroics, and uh, I think Liverpool needed just a little bit more time, as do as did other clubs, uh, to to really hit their stride. And no, no other club in the Premier League started the season like like they want to be in the t like they are in the top form usually. I mean, Chelsea 
won four games as well. Watford interestingly won four games as well. But you know, Man City dropped points already. Tottenham lost to Watford recently, which I was really happy about. And yes, Chelsea started with four wins out of four games, but they had games where they didn't play at their best. And I'm sure that Liverpool will improve um, a lot. And whoa boy, do we need to improve because the next seven games, we play six huge, huge teams. We play Paris Saint-Germain, we play Tottenham away, we play Chelsea twice, once in the League Cup and in the Premier League. We play Manchester City as well. And there will be massive, massive games. We play Napoli away from home in the Champions League as well. So there are some big, big games coming up for Liverpool. And I'm, I'm expecting Liverpool to improve and to, to be even better. Another very interesting story that broke recently is that Jamie Carragher has revealed that Brendan Rodgers offered him a job at Liverpool when he was considering retiring, but then he changed his mind. Uh, so uh, Jamie Carragher said this, after joining Liverpool as manager in 2002, 2012, sorry, Rodgers told me he wanted me on his backroom, backroom team. I accepted the offer, Carragher said. And I fully understand that because Carragher is a, a huge Liverpool fan is, and it, it must have been a dream come true for him to be even an assistant manager at Liverpool. But the second time Carragher is saying this, and I quote, the second time I met him, he had changed his mind and decided to promote Mike Marsh from the academy instead. I'm not sure what happened in those couple of weeks, but I often wonder what might have been. Maybe I would still be at Liverpool rather than working in the media. Maybe I would have been bitten by the coaching bob bo bug. Maybe I would have been bitten by the coaching bug and going through the same emotions as, Steve, as Steven Gerrard this weekend, coming up against the manager I worked with and using all my experience of how he works to try and get the better of him. I think Carragher uh, made the right decision to go into media. I'm not sure if uh, if he is that passionate about uh, you know the relentless uh, job of a manager. And Steven Gerrard has embraced it. He is now doing really well at Jan Rangers. Sorry, they he just lost his first game in like 14 games since he became Rangers manager, and that was to Celtic, who have bigger resources than Rangers. But I think, uh, you know, Rodgers made the wrong decision there, appointing Mike Marsh from the UK Academy. But I, I can understand why. Maybe Rodgers wanted uh, uh, somebody who wouldn't challenge him as much. Carragher, you know that he's a very outspoken guy and I'm sure that he would have been a very, very strong character even, you know, on uh, the Liverpool backroom stuff. And maybe Rodgers didn't really want that kind of, that type of character, that type of person on his backroom team. But I don't agree with that decision. I, I think Carragher would have made a fantastic, uh, you know, assistant manager at Liverpool. We'll never find out whether Liverpool would have won the league with Carragher as assistant manager or not, but but that's that's for another video, that's for another season. Bad news that Lalana and Mignolet had to withdraw from international duty. They both went down with with minor injuries, nothing too serious. Lalana said that it's a minor setback. Uh, is it isn't ideal as I've been in great shape until now, but it's positive news that it's only a brief layoff because Lalana will be back sometime in this month in September. So it's like a, a two or three week uh, layoff. It's a groin strain, so no surgery required or nothing serious. Um, but it's very frustrating because Lalana is a player that when your Jurgen Klopp came in, in his first season, Lalana was Jurgen Klopp's favorite player. He was the first name on the team sheet. He was, you know, brilliant. But that, since then, he had uh, multiple different types of injuries and he just couldn't get an extended run in the team, couldn't get the rhythm going and, uh, and now he's, you know, again on the, on the treatment table, which is sad to see. But Ilalana said this, I'm pleased I will be back available for Liverpool both domestically and in the Champions League during September and then England again for the next break. I know I can make a significant contribution 
over the course of a long season and that's where my focus will remain with so much to play for doing my best and giving everything for my teammates management and supporters of club and country is all that matters so really really good uh, honest quotes honest interview from Adam Lalana, but I'm just sad to see him getting injured there is no word yet of how long Mignolet will be out for but thank goodness we now have Alisson, a world-class goalkeeper uh, on uh, on our uh, team. I really hope it doesn't, uh, nothing happens with him. So we shall wait and see how the international break uh, uh, will, uh, you know, affect the Liverpool players coming back. But I really hope that we get no more injuries. We we don't want any injuries to our starting eleven or substitute players. Thanks for watching, guys. Really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. See you later. Goodbye.